1944, the communists invaded Romania. The first thing they did was to call all the pastors together and tell them that, pastors, you must now extol the virtues of communism and accept communism, even if it means denying your Christian faith. And one by one, the pastors stood extolling communism and denying their faith. Except for one man, Richard Wormbrandt stood and his wife told him, you wipe the stain from the face of our Savior. And he stood to proclaim his faith. For that, he was given nine years in prison. And for the next decades, he was in and out of prison, tortured, and just terribly abused for his faith. Where would we be? If we were given the same option and told the same thing, would we stand boldly for our Lord Jesus Christ and bravely proclaiming that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way, the only truth, the only life, or would we equivocate? The best way we can train our people is by being good examples. We want them to be bold, but we have to be bold ourselves. We want them to be firm in their faith, and we have to be firm in our faith. We want them to stand bravely for Christ, then we must stand bravely for Christ as examples. Lord, help us so to do, and help us that we will not be ashamed of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching Don Howell, today's Light and Love from Liberty.